What's up guys, it's Boomer Anderson here, health strategist to high performers and founder of Decoding Superhuman. Now I'm so glad that you're here with me tonight because we're gonna be talking about what may be my favorite gene. In fact, let's call it what it is. Brain-derived neurotrophic factor is hands down my favorite gene and it's so, so cool. Brain-derived neurotrophic factor codes for the BDNF protein. No shockers there. It's a member of the neutrophin growth factor family and is related to nerve growth factor. Now, what does that all mean? What does that all mean to you? Well, it turns out that certain genetic variants of brain-derived neurotrophic factor have less concentrations of BDNF in the blood. And why is that important? Well, if we look at just sort of the different outcomes and put B BDNF on really a continuum, on the high side of the expression of BDNF, we're associated with great mental states. You wanna be a mental ninja and have great focus, increase the expression of your BDNF. We also know it's better for good sleep quality and increases that deep sleep cycle that we all love. And if you wanna build muscle, you absolutely need. And then for some, it's actually been associated with the ability to increase polyunsaturated fats in the diet and be able to lose weight. Now, if you go to the flip side of that continuum and have lower expressions of BDNF in the blood, what do we actually get? Well, we know that that is associated with things like Alzheimer's disease, as well as Parkinson's disease. So based on this, it's pretty clear that we want to increase the expression of BDNF as much as possible, right? Well, when we say expression and genes in general, we can change those through the science of epigenetics. And by expression, we're talking about increasing the production of that BDNF protein. And so how do we do that? What are five quick ways that you can do that starting today? Well, let's start with number one. And it starts first thing in the morning. Go out and get some sunlight. Now, what I like to do, and I'm, <laughs> I've been called a little bit weird at times, but I like to go out and dance in the sunlight in my underwear. That gets me not only that oh so great vitamin D, but it also increases that production of brain-derived neurotrophic factor. Number two is intermittent fasting. You can increase production of BDNF through intermittent fasting. And so what you wanna do here is at least give your body a break of about 16 hours or more through a fast. Now there's a couple of ways you can do this. The way I do it is I stop eating around 6 or 8 p.m. at night and I don't eat until around lunch the next day. There are others who look to stop earlier and so they'll stop eating around 5 p.m. and don't eat again until breakfast the next day. Play with it, try it, and use what works for you and your lifestyle. When we start looking at other things, number three, that can increase brain-derived neurotrophic factor, let's talk about food, blueberries. Now, for so long, we've talked about how blueberries are such a good smart food. They're such a good brain food. Well, it turns out that it's true. And we know this because it increases the production of brain-derived neurotrophic factor. It helps us get to that state of being that mental ninja. Number four, is one that I like quite a bit and I'm sipping on right now. That's Tulsi tea. And the, the main ingredient in Tulsi tea is something called holy basil. And holy basil is found in, oh, so really delicious Thai food, but it's also found in Tulsi tea. And if you get pure Tulsi tea, there's not really any caffeine in it. And I'm a slow caffeine metabolizer. So when I'm done my coffee in the morning, I switch over to Tulsi tea and I get that benefit of that increased focus through that increased BDNF. And then finally, and given that it changes the expression of 7,000 genes, one third of your genome, are you surprised that I wasn't, that I, I'm going to mention exercise? Yes, it turns out that exercise increases the production of brain-derived neurotrophic factor. Now, how do you implement this in your everyday life? Well, I go for about a 20 to 40 minute run before I have to give any big speech, any big keynote. And it helps me get that laser-like focus that I need to deliver 
the best information, the best speech possible. And you can do this too through short, intense bursts of exercise or maybe as long as a 40 minute run. And so that's just five quick ways for you to increase your production of brain-derived neurotrophic factor and for you to become an absolute mental ninja. If you want to learn more about brain-derived neurotrophic factor or how to individualize your health, we offer free 30-minute discovery calls. We want to talk about you. We want to talk about your current health issues and how Decoding Superhuman may help you through those issues. If you want to schedule it, we'll put a link below and please feel free to reach out.